What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Pete Down. Uh, I'm here with another Real Talk. This is where I sit down in front of a microphone. I just talk about a certain subject. And uh, today I decided I'd address something people have been asking me about, and that's uh, my thoughts on Fate Extella Link. So, this might actually surprise a lot of people. I don't know what the fuck Fate Extella Link is. <laughs> like, I mean, aside from being a fate property, I don't know anything else. And let me explain to you why. I'm not typically a person who follows games in their development or whatever. I don't typically care about games until they come out. So, typically, I don't really obsess over teasers or trailers or images, screenshots, or shit like that at all. As a prime example, I didn't really give a fuck about Extella until I heard it was getting a Western release. And even then, I didn't really check out anything until a couple months before its release. So, yeah... That's not really a... I'm not saying it's bad to be invested in that stuff. That's just a me thing. I don't typically give a shit. Uh, and so far, from what I've heard, I haven't... First of all, I don't even think they're... I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say anything on the subject Fate, uh, Fate Excel Link. I don't know anything about it except it's a thing. I think there was some images of the main characters teased. I don't fucking know. I don't know, and honestly, I don't really care. I mean, what mo what I can mostly assume. One, this is probably a pseudo-sequel to Extella. Uh, I say pseudo-sequel because we know how sequels are handled in the Fate universe. <laughs> They're never direct sequels. <laughs> well, can I look at Extella? It follows the fit plot of Fate Extra, except it doesn't. Because everything was changed. The changed not even told the changes. Oh, you can read about it on the blog. Yeah, that's not in the fucking game. I'm fucking going out of my way to read backstory for some reason. I'm still not... Uh, fuck, God. <laughs> get, get used to hearing that. That's going to be an argument when I finish Extella. Anyways. um, Yeah, so... First of all, the one thing I'll address uh, that I do want to talk about in regards to Fate Extella Link is... Does anybody else think it's weird that Extella is getting another game? Or, like, another thing? Like, let me put this in perspective. Extella is not a year old yet. It is not a year old in Japan. Actually, when did it come out in Japan? It might just barely be a year old in Japan. Uh, fate... Extel, that is... Oh my god, I cannot fucking... Uh, fate... Extel, that's a W. There we go. I'm trying to, like, type around stuff. I have my setup for recording fucking uh, Grand Order going on right now, so I've got wires everywhere. Alright, here we go. Fate Extel, when did this come out? Uh, this came out in Japan on November 10th. So yeah, this is not a year old yet. Even in Japan standards, this is not a year old yet. What the hell? <laughs> Even then, uh, spoilers, I'm gonna say this right now. I don't particularly think Fate Extella was that great of a game. It was okay, but... I don't think it was that good. I think there were better Fate stories in, in other games or visual novels. And I think there are... A billion better Musu games. Um. But, I mean... I... Like I said, I won't have a solid opinion on this until, like, it's out. Or if it gets a Western release. Or whatever about it. If it's an anime, I'm not gonna give a shit about it. It's not that I hate anime. I just don't care about it anymore. I've kind of grown out of anime. Like, I don't want to say I've grown out of anime. Because that's not true. I just... Don't care about it the same I used to. It's the same reason I 
never watched the Unlimited Blade Works TV show. It's the same reason I'm not gonna watch Heaven's Feel. That and because it's being split up into multiple movies. You can ask Persona on how well that did. I assume that did okay, but even then there's still adaptations. It's gonna be like... Yeah, I, I could probably read Heaven's Feel in less time than it's gonna take for all those movies to come out. Um... Uh, it's the same reason I'm not going to watch Fate Ex the Fate Extra Encore, or whatever the hell it's called. That and because I don't think an adaptation of that can be done properly unless you're just using all of the servants and they all become a giant powwow. Which, I have to admit, that kind of sounds pretty cool, but it's not going to happen. Um, and it's the same reason I'm not watching Fate Apocrypha. I just don't care about anime like I used to. Uh, that is a solid 100% truth. I just don't care about it the same way I used to. I honestly blame Tokusatsu for that because that has been my love for many a years now since I got into that. But uh, on the topic of Fate Ex Extella Link, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Like, I will care when I get more information about it. Or if it gets a Western release, because honestly, I won't give a shit about it if it stays in Japan. Because you know who can't read Japanese? This guy! So, yeah, any story thing that could probably happen in that game if it stays in Japan, I am not going to give a fuck about. Uh, I will let someone else explain it to me. But yeah, so that's my opinion on Fate Extella Link. I think it's way too early to be jumping off of Extella already. It's not even a year old. I mean, unless they're just now teasing Extella Link and saying, like, it's going to be developed over the course of, like, two or three years or something. Like, they're literally just like, all right, here's the title of our thing. It's not even barely out yet or something like that. That I can understand. Uh, but if they're saying, like, oh, man, we're already ready to tease this thing. It's going to come out, like, the end of next year or something. Yeah, it's like what <laughs> um but yeah so i don't care uh maybe i'll care later down the road but as of current i don't care like for a better picture of why i don't care like following news i backed the game on indiegogo uh indivisible uh, an RPG by the people who made Skullgirls. I ca I, bat uh, I backed that for 60 bucks so I could get a free physical copy of it. Because, I mean, I was impressed by their uh, playable demo that they had. But I have not followed any of the updates that they've had for that. I think they said something about giving backers like a beta version, like a beta demo or something. I don't really know. I don't pay attention to that shit. Because I don't care because it's not out yet. That's just how I am. I don't care about something until I can hold it or see it in my... Hold it in my hands or play it with my own things. Because nowadays we kind of live in an era where like trailers and stuff like that are all faked. You can't really tell what's true, even if they say it's true. And even then, it's like, oh, this has all that. And it's like, oh, no, it didn't. But, you know, that's just how I am. I don't care. I'd rather see it for myself. But, yeah. So I'm sorry if that's not the opinion everyone wanted to hear about that. And I'm not saying Extella Link is going to be bad by all means. I just don't care right now. I I don't. I really don't. But yeah. So uh, again, sorry if that's not what you guys want to hear. But it's kind of how it is for me. Just don't care. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta.